Welcome back to more Costume Quest 2, Back in the Hood. Uh, I'm TBG Hunter, and last time we did the one thing kids always dream of doing, and that's we busted out of school. We also got Haley, Everett, and uh, Lucy's daughter to join our little party, and we also got the costume pattern for... Where is it? If I can go over to it. The wizard costume. And we're back in... The old neighborhood, well, I wouldn't say old neighborhood because it's more newish than old, because Stacy, our old friend from the past who's now a bit older in this timeline, asked us to get a bunch of donations from the people who live around here for her little, like, underground resistance, candy, celebrate Halloween, thingamabob. And we're going to do that, but not before we sneak over here and... <sighs> I am not sneaky, am I? Well, we might as well show out the fight because this is actually a new set of enemies. These are actually two new enemies. We got roving chompers and a dental drone. Chompers are monster based even though technically these are all technically machines. And the drone is te um, machine based which should be for all of them but whatever. We're going to have Ren start off the fight by taking out the dental drone. Fantastic, got that amazing. Wow. That was kind of iffy. Uh, we'll have... Reynold... Uh, they're both the same health. I might as well just take out the top one. There's that amazing I was missing. Haley, is Haley's weak against this guy, but I... I'm going to hit him with a Sweet Justice, just so I can damage all, all three of them. Because that splash damage is very much appreciated. There's the block on it. There's the block on that one. And we'll have Ren... Ren uh, multi-targeting every enemy because I cannot seem to fix this damn controller. Come on, can you just die already? I'll have you take up the chop, chop chompers. Maybe this finishes you off. Five health. Come on. You know what? Screw it. Punch him. Thank you. Now, Ren, thank you. Reynold, take this guy out. Well, it's a robot. I don't think this thing has a gender. Haley, finish it off. And there we go. Sadly, no creepy tree cards, which makes me sad. I really want to show off some of the new ones. Eh, might as well go get some water. Eh, you know what? Screw it. Candy! I never really officially showed off like the you can eat candy for health thing, but at the cost of your funds. And in true Custom Quest fashion, just beat the crap out of everything in sight because you'll need to get your candy reserves back up. And right around here. There we go. Open the chest and we get ourselves cotton balls. First piece of the wizard costume, because if you remember from the kid earlier by Everett and Lucy's house, he said that they were all being guarded by den- Will you please go over the ramp? Thank you. They were all being guarded by dental drones, so any place we see a dental drone, we're gonna want to make that our main priority, because that leads to a new piece of the costume. Is there anything back here? Oh yeah, there is a bunch of stuff, and I- Can I smack him through here? Yes, I can. Thank you, game. Okay, I can smack that through here, but I don't know why it wouldn't let me target the dumpster. Should be the last of it. Feel like there should be something in there. It really does. Beat the fire peak candy out of a fire hydrant because that seems logical. And we'll go over here. Hopefully this is not one of their sting operations and this is an actual person who will give me candy, please. I'm never right, am I? 
So I totally didn't almost get my ass kicked by that, even though we each had a character that was strong against a monster in that fight. Seriously, gonna watch out for those mages. I'm just gonna eat some candy because I can just easily make it up. And hey, check it out! Let's see if I can actually be sneaky for once. Power off! Ah! That's what you get for eating it! Ah, that was a pretty interesting fight. It was... Well, actually, it wasn't really that much interesting. More like it was the exact same fight from the last set of monsters. Let's switch to our pterodactyl costume so we can blow this open. And... Snail! To be honest, I wasn't expecting that snail to be there. I kind of forgot he was... A a second fight you had to go through for this chest. Eh, whatever. We'll kick his ass off just like the rest. Probably should have given the pterodactyl costume to Reynolds then because he has a maxed out super meter. Right, we'll just use a super run there. Okay, what's the snail do? I hope it pulls glasses out of the void to read this. Please pull glasses out. Nope, it just got a close look at it. Not, not as not as funny as what the chattering teeth or pulling glasses out of the void is. That was kind of lackluster. Now I got now I kind of want to try it on on the mole to see what it does. Probably run into one soon. Okay, focus your attack on him. Reynold, you... Haley's would be weak to monsters. You know what? I'm going to use some sugar uncles. I'm going to give that to Haley. That's right, Jefferson. You do a tap dance while we're putting that card down. And it was a good... Okay, yes, Haley wasn't weak against this monster. That was a complete waste of a card, but eh, whatever. I do... I'm strong against the monster now. Punch you in the face. Uh, well, not really so much as strong against the monster, more like just average. Wow, that took Kaylee out pretty fast. I probably should go take them to the fountain soon. Ren, just finish this thing off. Okay, Reynold, you finish this thing off. Five health! Well, not for long. There we go. And hey, we got rice creepies. <laughs> we got a, someone's bathrobe. Gross. What was it doing in a coffin chest in the middle of their backyard? That's kind of disturbing. Uh, pfft. You know what? Haley, since you're a healer, I'm going to give you the clown costume because you're kind of low on health. And plus, we need someone to... I didn't mean to give you guys candy. I just wanted to take you back to the water fountain and just switch things around. Ah, eh, whatever. I can always just make up the candy by just smacking things around the neighborhood. Trick or treat. Hey, check it out. We got a person who dressed up for Halloween. Is that just supposed to tell them that they're on our side? That it's like a uniform that these resistance people would wear. Eh, whatever. I might as well do a little bit of switching now, show off some of the new creepy tree cards if I can find them. Ah, here we go. Uh, next minion that attacks the chosen player is automatically defeated. Whoa, that's... That's kind of good. And by kind, I mean really good. Oh, that probably wouldn't work for boss monsters. I'll give that one. Just so we have creepy trees to show off. Just 32 more hours. Oh god, guard! I just caught him out of the corner of my eye. Let's head up to this residence. Hopefully it's not another sting operation, but you know. Knock on wood. Oh, hey, he was actually right this time. That's a first for me. 
Beat the crap out of you. Beat it. I think if I make one more uh, pickup, I should have the stuff needed to... Actually, you know what? First things first. Do I have a card? Oh, Rice Creepies, I need a second of those. I have one copy of them and need the second one, though. Go one more house and this one, but my sources say that this is a sting operation. I hate it when I'm right sometimes. Wow, that fight was way easier than the last one I was in. Kind of sad of how I did that, but then again, it was only two monsters instead of three. And hey, we leveled up. Can we finally talk to Cor Corvus? Please? No? Fine. We're missing two more houses, and that's pretty much it. Find Lucy and Everett. I also gotta keep my eye out for the trick or treat or the hide and seekers. Not trick or treaters. Where are the trick or treaters? Those are hide and seekers. And also, hey, there's the last chest we need for the costume. I'm gonna go around there and get it because if this is another sting operation, I want to show off our new costume. Also, beat it. That fight was actually surprisingly easy, and they actually managed to mix things up by giving me two te te teeth drones instead of just one and two walkers. All right. Oh, hey, piñata, piñata, piñata. Arriba! Last week's of the costume, it's a glow stick. And hey, check it out. We're finally a wizard. And what better way to show off our wizard? Actually, wizard is splash. Yeah, the wizard is basically our splash damage user. I'm going to actually be using this a bit more than... Uh, our other monster deal dealers, which is just the pterodactyl, so I'll probably be using this a bit more over the pterodactyl, mostly because I actually like it a bit more than the pterodactyl. It does splash damage, so we'll be attacking everything. Might as well add some candy. Jerk a treat. And I also, because I love its monster form, it's amazing, ridiculous, and powerful as all hell at the same time. And if you notice from its field ability, the wizard costume works pretty much like the, uh, I guess you could say the astronaut costume from Costume Quest 1. It's basically the second game's version of the, the astronaut. Now, where the hell is this last house? I see your lights on, please. Can you give me some more candy? Although I'm pretty sure you were a fight. Thank God I have a map. Let's see, Bayou, French Quarter, Witch's Bog. That's the Tooth Academy. That's the sewers. Huh, I do not have a map for the suburbs. That's weird. Why don't we head back home and see? Okay, home is not working. Very ominous, like, glow to this random... No, wait. Here's home. Ah, we can't go home. To be honest, I'm probably because our future cells are probably in there, and if we actually came in contact with them, the universe would probably implode in on itself if... The past and future merged into one. Do I have your damn card? Ugh, you're impossible, kid. Now, where the hell is this last house? I'm probably just going to cut to me finally finding this house because holy hell. Okay, so I just caved and uh, just went to the... The... Uh, I went back to Shady, back in the sewers, to get a map, because I, holy hell, I cannot find these houses, and just turns out that the house is right here. Hey, it's you. You don't look like you've aged... a day. A week. A minute. What the hell? Are you a wizard? Because it'd be nice to see another wizard here. You kids shouldn't be wearing those costumes out in the open. Get inside before the dental drones see you. So, why did White let, like, random police officials go through the neighborhood if he has full control of the pretty much the whole world now? Hey, last delivery. That's the last one. Let's get these back to Sadie. Now, there's also one house which, obvious to you, is a sting operation. I'll probably off-screen do that fight because I just don't see a reason to right now. But I do see there's a reason to is to question all logic, because I did not notice this until coming back to get the map of this area. We go through a manhole into the sewers. 
And we come down a flight of stairs. I don't get it. Whatever. Shady! You shady bastard. What do you have for us? If we can get one of the two things, we can get the clown upgrade to the superhero upgrade. He has actually a couple of new uh, creepy tree cards since we came back. Uh, Pie cake. All minions drain 25% health per turn. Pr pretty good, especially if we're going up against very high level enemies. And Headless Horseman. Ha! I get it. The next two attacks by any hero are significantly um, are automatically amazing. That's hmm. That's actually pretty good for a boss fight. I might pick that up a bit later. But for now, it's overdue for us to get a new upgrade. So I think I'm going to go with the clown one because I've been using the clown a bit more to, you know, have our have at least a healer in fights. So let's go with the clown upgrade. Give it some rainbow cloth. And now look at Haley. She is so majestic. <laughs> She's now very clownish. All right, Sadie. Hello. Here's your deliveries. You weren't kidding about those sting operations. Thanks, guys. This is gonna make Bob, Blob, very happy. Blob. He runs the speakeasy on the east side of the city. He knows more about the underground tunnels. He can tell you how to get into this compound. The password to the east side speakeasy is Mice Crispy Treats. Good luck finding Lucy and Everett. Thanks, Sadie. We won't forget this. But we'll probably forget you. Yeah, I'm not. I am such an asshole. Alright, so we couldn't go anywhere past here because, yeah, it's very dark in there. Lucky for us, we have a glow wand. If an, I remember right, going through here automatically... Yep, yeah, just going through it turns the lights on so we don't have to use the glow wand anymore. I don't get it. Is it like motion sensor? Did we step on a switch? Did the breakers just finally kick in? I don't get it. What's the password? Mice Crispy Treats. Doors open. Looks like we got ourselves a grub monster workforce in here. Human children have come to taste Blob's candy? Not exactly. Sydney told us you know how to get into Dr. White's compound. Of course Blob knows, but why would Blob tell human children his secrets? Because Blob is nice? Ha ha ha, Blob has been called many things. Fat, dumpy, smelly, ugly, but nice? That's a new word to describe Blob. Blob will tell you what. If you human children do some deliveries for Blob to the east side of this city, then Blob will hook you up with a secret. What do you say? Eh, I guess that's fair. Blob must keep the candy flow into his customers. Blob does what he needs. It's actually... You know, I'd actually have, like, a restaurant like this, and you got, like, the pumpkins, the candles lit, and all the stuff. It's actually a pretty cool little, little hangout you got here, Blob. I thought it'd be great to work with the candy all day, but I don't get to eat any of it. What's the point? Eh, words to live by. Can actually go through the door, please. Ren, thank you. Look at those crazy claw marks. Who do you think did that? Oh. Oh boy. Hey, were you the one that clawed up that wall? Nope. I'm waiting for whatever did to come back though. I'll bet it gives a good I bet it gives good back scratches. I look for clues, but I don't have light tech lightning technology. You guys should hunt it down. Maybe we will. Yeah, because sending three young kids to hunt whatever did that to concrete walls, yeah, that seems like the smart thing to do. Idiot. Here. Did I get did I get that itch for ya? Did I? Huh? Huh? Alright, so we got ourselves a little um uh, I guess you could say it's a side quest. Uh we will be doing because of course. I plan to 100% the game as best I can. We got a creepy cryptid. We need to find the mysterious source of those claw marks. Looks like the creature service to the east side of Monster City. Indeed it did. So let's check out the east side. East 
East Side Story. Can you tell me what my toes look like? Fat bastard. Hey, you smell humans. Hey, how do you smell small humans get in here? You don't even have a hard hat. Blob gave us special clearance. He did? Well, that's a relief. Because we, we had a strict instructions not to let any humans sniff around here. Because of the human art artifacts that we found in the mines. What human artifacts? Sorry, small human. I'm sworn secrecy. There's nothing you could possibly say to me that would make me spill the beans about th these artifacts. Oh, really? Well, I may not be able to say anything, but Jefferson can! Those artifacts sound valuable. You must be proud to be the one who dug them up. Me? Yeah, I'm a good digger. Did you dig up the other cool stuff? I did dig up a piece of paper with these artifacts, but I couldn't read it. I thought it was plans at first, but it was garbage. That's why it's in the trash pile behind me. But that's it. Nothing useful. Just those artifacts and that piece of paper trash pile. And that magically somehow makes a move. Okay. And check it out. We got a hide-and-seeker. Very hippy-dippy looking hide-and-seeker. I don't even know what a hippie is. Then why did you dress up as one? blow all this garbage away and we got ourselves a new costume pattern for a pharaoh look at this we figured out what, where those artifacts are hiding took more stuff more candy beat the crap out of these traffic cones because they're hiding candy because that makes all the sense candy mine oh can we go down there and get just hoard the whole thing no all right let's switch back to my wizard costume I'm gonna give Jefferson back to Ren Reynold, not Ren. It's not gonna store. Hopefully it's a sting operation because I actually wanna show up the Nope. It's an actual thing. Oh hey, that was a big candy. That's a very nice grubbin. That was a big smile he gave me. I'm happy. I'm also happy if I could actually get into a damn fight. Knock knock, who's there? It's me! Can I please fight you? Thank you. He can't even read. He can't even get himself through the door. He's just like flailing. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, first he was Gandalf the Grey, then he was Gandalf the White. Now he's Gandalf the Black. Interesting choice, double fine of having a black Gandalf as our wizard, but eh, I'll roll with it. Now, as I said, he is a splash damage. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage because I think he's weak against technological enemies. But whatever. Good thing is, Reynold is strong against them. But having a splash damage user is actually pretty, pretty impressively good. We'll have Haley just hop, skip, and bounce her way over there. Ah, shit. Feel extra strong. It's a trick. Get an axe. Oh god, they're both strong. All right, time to show off our ability, which is Doomstick. You shall not pass. Eh, kind of lackluster. All right, you know what? I want to take you out because I know you're probably gonna do a whole lot of damage. Will you quit targeting the other enemy, please? Thank you. Right any faster, he's gonna burn that declaration up before he sends it to them. Just pull the glasses out of the void and bye bye. And Haley, you finish off this doorbug, although you're weak against him, so maybe it was a bad idea to do so, whatever. You're a healer, so it doesn't matter. Oh god! Should he use the creepy tree card and uh Buff one, Ren or Reynolds ability. Eh, I'll probably just do it when I go back to the other fight in the neighborhood. So let's just finish this guy off. Not the creepy tree card. Please, lightning. Thank you. Still no creepy tree card. I need to find the other creepy tree card for the bat uh, thing, Bob Majigger. 
All right, but for now, num. I think this is a good thing to place to set off. We entered a new area. We finished up the old area. We got ourselves a new costume. We got an upgrade for a clown. Next time on Costume Quest 2, we're going to go off around the monster half of the neighborhood in hopes of getting to the third part of this little, like, adventure thing in my bob here. I'm also probably going to do a little bit of grinding off screen and get the creepy tree card shady cell and also the superhero upgrade just to say I have it. I might show it off in the next fight. I might not. But whatever. Anyways, see you guys next time. Later.